all who come to this happy place, welcome. Please stand clear of the doors. For favor, we thank God the Alejandro's son. This is here to the world. This is here to So today on Miles from Main Street, we got the whole gang together here. We got Brian and Tammy, and we've got Mikhailo and Kristen. How's everybody doing? Doing good today. Good. Kristen? We are ready for Christmas. We are ready. I am so ready for Christmas. I The day after Halloween, I was asking when the tree was going to go up, and I'm I still want the tree to go up. I, I am so ready to start decorating and doing everything for Christmas. But before you can even put that tree up, you need to go and leave a review for the show and then share it with a friend. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Before you put your tree up, like like as soon as you start to put your tree up, remember, oh, Mouse from Main Street told me to share this with a friend. So run to your computer and share out the podcast to a friend before you put your tree up. Agreed. So today we are talking, we we got the whole group together to talk about one of the days that we're going to be at Disney together. Um, This is, I mean, it's not a rest day uh, and it's not really a resort day. It's kind of like a non-park day that we're doing. Um, We've got lots of ideas. We have... somewhat of a of like a game plan of what we want to do but um in this session we're just going to sit down and talk through kind of ex- exactly what we want what everybody wants to accomplish and what the day is going to look like so that when the day comes we're not like strangling each other because we're <laughs> trying to do all <laughs> things um so that's the idea and we just want to kind of show you what it would look like two couples trying to talk through a day that they're going to have at disney so yeah so this is probably going to get kind of dis. what's the word i'm looking for disjointed that's the word i'm looking for yeah probably um but as we (laughs) (laughs) yeah rowdy (laughs) but as we've been talking about how we want to handle some of this stuff it's been kind of kylo and i have been talking about how it's you know content that this is something that Mm -hmm. would be beneficial to record so i think it'll be a fun one yeah i i think so too and i think the the main thing i want to get out of it is um i just want to make sure that like every like because brian and tammy do to disney a little different than kristen and i do disney Kristen and I are typically trying to kind of run around and do as much as we can. We've really tried to like pull that back a little bit recently. Um, But so we, we don't want to be like pulling Brian and Tammy around Disney world. Like that's the last thing we want to do. Uh, But we also want to make sure that we're, we're getting all the things that we want to do done uh, while not, um, angering brian and tammy with with how we run around so well we're good at running around but i think we've also talked about the four of us that we're going to try to relax a little bit more too Mm -hmm. so you know friday night we're doing the christmas party and we're going to be out late we're going to be running around pretty crazy for that one i think um so i think saturday it'll be good to take some time to relax here and there um But yeah, we've got so many things we want to do. We need to kind of hammer out what it might look like. Okay, so um, we're just going to do it. It's probably going to get pretty casual um, with us just kind of going back and forth. uh, But we're jumping into it. Um, And the first thing uh, that I'm going to bring up is something Kristen and I talked about. Um, So in our rough sketch, we had talked about going to... Um, Disney Springs in the morning um, and that doesn't open till like 10 right. um, and so we were talking about um, we were talking about taking the Skyliner over to was it um, Epcot for what uh, and taking a boat over to like Port Orleans and getting beignets in the morning 
Have you been to this oh. place we like to call Disney World? <laughs> do, do you know how to get around Disney World? <laughs> anyway. My least favorite Skyline. mode of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up in the morning, boom, instant fear. Skyliner. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Port Orleans French Quarter, we need to go get some hot cocoa beignets is mm-hmm. what we've been talking about. Which conveniently about. are available December 1st. And I think the Saturday is December 2nd. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I was, I actually, I got worried for a second there that maybe we were, <laughs> we're going to be going on the first <laughs> and people were going to be lined up for them. <laughs> I, cause I could see that happening. You never know. You never know. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So... I believe you guys came up with the fact that Scat Cats opens at 7 in the morning. It indeed does open at 7. Yeah, we, at we've at definitely seven. had, we've done breakfast beignets before there. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Why do I not know this? Like, I, well, I, the Scat I think... Cat Lounge, I know about. They have a jazz band there at night. They open at 5 o'clock. That, that exists. I don't know where you were when Kristen and I already had this discussion about Scat Cats <laughs> no, having I the beignets we like weeks ago. <laughs> we we did I know, on I, the group I, chat. I, I didn't I realize there was like a... senile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not senile. No, I know this He's conversation. He's just old. The... <laughs> He's a whole year older than me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> she only can say that right now because she hasn't s- celebrated a birthday. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, like, I know of Scat Cats, and I know of the quick service that's at French Quarter, mm-hmm. but I didn't know that there was this, like, all-day Scat Cat cafe. I, this is news to me. You get your beignets in your cafe au lait. Yeah, so you're it's, in, it's a, you're it's a completely it's a completely separate thing. So like there's there's the club which scat the cat scat cat cafe is right next to scat cats the club, um so it's like right there but it's mm-hmm. like a completely different thing um and it's you know, the hours are different and it's basic it's basically really just where everybody goes and gets beignets mm-hmm. that's all they're ever giving to people uh, but I think you can also get like coffee and stuff yes yeah. Cafe Olay. The one time, okay, the one time that we were there, we got them from the quick service. Oh, oh. the like the quick service that like it's like Sasagula. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Floatworks. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. Floatworks. They yeah. have beignets in there. Mm-hmm. Maybe just well, like and, the, the standard ones. Oh, okay. This is 2017. Not, like, the flavors. Mm. Right. Yeah, they were the the poor cast member was behind there like making them and she's like i've gone through so many bags of powdered sugar already <laughs> and i've only been here an hour and we're like oh wow that's a lot of powdered sugar and there was like nobody in line for them mm-hmm. and we get our i think we got the six pack mm-hmm. didn't we and we take them out to the table we open the thing up and i there was literally an entire bag of <laughs> <laughs> powdered sugar on top of them we're like well, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> Have we only gone there twice? I feel like we've we've just tried a lot of beignets. Like we got we've got boozy beignets. We've got all the dipping sauces. We got the Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we've 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 been there only twice, and and I know one of them was like an early early morning beignet thing. So, so do we shoot for trying to be there at nine, or is that too late? Like too late in the day? <laughs> yeah. Uh I think nine would be fine. Like I don't I don't think we have to like get there at seven when it opens or anything like that. I would agree with that. Um because I mean, how long are we gonna need? Cause I'm thinking I mean, if we wanna have as much time as we can possibly have at Springs, we're gonna want to be there by ten. Well, right. I'm thinking just if we're aiming to be there at nine that has to put us out the door by what like 8 15 so oh. that i mean this goes back to the skyliner thing that doesn't go anywhere near there but do we want to just uber since otherwise we would have to go to like magic kingdom and transfer 
Yeah, the uh, what I was thinking was, don't the friendship boats take you to Epcot? There's or? no waterway. No, there's no waterway that connects over to the French Quarter. Oh, okay. Where do those boats go then? Disney Springs. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, so the thought was to have beignets then get on the boat to go to Disney Springs. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so then... Um, yeah, so I, I, no fear for me in the morning. Well, we'll give you fear in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Just that think would about be who you have to wake up next to. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> but I, I, th- I think that would be a good idea is, um, just to get an Uber. And I mean, that's always fine. Like I, I would rather, especially in the morning where like you, you never really know what transportation is going to be like. Because people are trying to get to parks, and then we're mm-hmm. trying to get to Scat Cats. Um, so yeah, I, I think that would be a good idea. I feel like we'd definitely be able to do that. So we could Uber over, um, try like we shoot there, shoot for getting there at nine, uh, and doing our beignet thing, uh, and then making our way over to Disney Springs. Um, and so I, I we're mean, still gonna take the boat to Disney Springs then? I think we should. Okay. I think that'd be yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, Does anybody know what time that boat starts though? Oh. Oh, I would I would guess that it would start before Disney Springs opens because that's kind of what they do with everything else where like they have Right. they have transportation to whatever opens like 45 minutes before it opens or something like that. Okay. So I would, so I would I think... assume that it that it would work that way. So we would get over to Disney Springs around 10 o'clock um do Probably we want to go check the line or virtual queue or whatever oh, for, yeah, Gideon's for Gideon's right away huh mm-hmm. yeah i and that early in the morning i don't think we're gonna have a virtual queue it's gonna be it's right in line yeah. yeah so the you know like i don't know if it's like if we want to get there earlier to get in the line to save some time you know, if we're in line before 10 or if we want, because I know the parking ramp's opening earlier so that you can mm. be into Disney Springs when it opens. Um, So I don't know if we want to try to do that, you know, then maybe we get to uh, POFQ a little quicker, French Quarter a little quicker or a little earlier, I mean, so that we can mm. get over to Springs earlier. Well, I guess we, I mean, Honestly, it could because there's a possibility that we just sit at Scat Cats for a half an hour and then we're like, okay, like let's let's make our way on over. So we may have enough time um, if we did something like that. Uh, but then you'd never really kind of know boats wise. Um, yeah. So I mean, I would say we could shoot for we could not nine o'clock is our like if if all else fails, we'll get there at nine o'clock. But we could shoot for like however early we can get there um before nine o'clock um and kind of see how how the dice rolls with that okay so we'll just plan to get over to springs in time then and so i think yeah i think we want to get to gideon's right away huh i think that's probably a good idea yeah that's also something i've literally never done (laughs) i've never like all the times that i've been in springs the queues have just been out of control like i'll walk up to the person and they'll be like oh yeah it's like a it's like a six hour wait and I'm like, I will be in Madison by then. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. you I have mean... to definitely plan ahead for it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's so worth it. It's so worth the it. The peanut butter coffee is so amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to need that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, so definitely bring like a Tupperware container to keep in your bag so that the cookies don't get squished while we're okay. running around the rest Kristen, of the day. Kristen, remember to bring the Tupperware. The Tupperware, okay. Yep, the Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> I, why Am is I going to so need funny? a cooler for them too so they don't melt in the heat all nah, I, I think walking I, around all day? I think Tupperware would, would work just fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> The funny thing is, is this joke was told on a podcast. <laughs> Tup. Tupperware. Tub. Tupperware. Tub like a tub, you know, tub, tubberware. <laughs> I'll explain it. I'll explain it later. We need it. We need to keep going. 
<laughs> or else we'll be here for hours. <laughs> so are you guys thinking Jock Lindsay's for lunch? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what do we want to do in between Gideon's and that then, I guess? Check out all the Christmas trees. <laughs> Christmas tree show. Okay. And uh, World of Disney because World of Disney. I mean, yeah. I mean, well. Just a quick walkthrough. Do, do you guys have specific things that you want to do? At Disney Springs? Yeah. Um, no, not really. I mean, I'd like to see the trees and Mm -hmm. we talked about, like, if you guys want to go to World of Disney, that's fine. We talked about that. We probably don't really have to this time because I think we're just mostly looking to buy Christmas merch, but Mm -hmm. I don't mind strolling through there quick. Well, there's, I mean, there's definitely World of Disney and then there's. Oh, the pin store. The pin, yeah, the the I, the pin hut. I could skip the hut the of pins. World of Disney for the pit, but I want to go to the pin store. Okay. Um, and then, what about? I mean, there's the Christmas shop. Like we could go into the Christmas shop if you guys want to look at Christmas merch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but then we always like to go to the um, uh, what's oh the co-op. Like whenever oh, I'm in, yep. whenever I'm in Springs, I like to just like run through the co-op. And honestly, this this I mean, the way we do it too is like we don't need to like go somewhere and like spend an extended amount of time shopping and looking at things. Maybe it's even just kind of like a oh, we're over by here, let's walk through this and just like walk through it. And how much so how much time do you think we'll have between Gideon's and lunch? Depending on how long the line is when we get there, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be anywhere from an hour wait. And if it's an hour wait, I would say, like, I can stand in line for a while. You guys run to your pin store or mm-hmm. something, you know, do something while someone waits in line. Then come mm-hmm. over well, and spell a, spell that person so that someone we, else can go do, do something. Do we think the wait is going to be an hour? If they open at 10 and, like, we're there at 10, like, essentially rope dropping this? Well, how much after 10 do you think we got there that one time? Because we got there after 10, and it was an hour wait, and I was standing in the, in the sun for an hour. But it, but it was between after. 10 and 11? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And that's why I said, like, you know, like, if we can get there before 10. Yeah. But I, I don't think, know what that bo- boat is going to do. I mean, I'm, mm-hmm. I would be fine with leaving the hotel still at, like, 8.15 to get to Scat Cats, like, early. And then if we have time to kill before Disney Springs and, like, we're there early. Like, we're there with plenty of time. We're not, like, rushing. Actually, I, I, will, I didn't even think of this. Yeah, if we leave at 8 15 which i think we'd be totally cool with we could get to scat cats around like 8 30 maybe and so then we're getting we're getting getting beignets at 8 30 uh who knows like we may leave um french quarter at like nine so we may be able to like take that boat over get to disney springs and get in line so we we may we may be able to queue up like that so looking at it like that i feel like, like then we'd, find, be, we'd be getting i guess there like early. which entrance would be closest to gideon's because obviously we'd want to be like over there yeah. and not run through all of disney springs so yeah. here's the thing that and this is for everyone the the wayfinding for you the boat parks at the um at the like next to saratoga springs so it's mm-hmm. all the way on that end of Disney Springs. Yeah. Gideon's is in the middle. So if we take the boat, we're going to be going halfway across Disney Springs. If the boat isn't working out for us for whatever reason, then yeah, we can probably work out where we get dropped off. Like if we take the bus over or if we take... Because mm. the bus will get us right by there, right? That's where the bus drop is, is kind of in the middle. Okay. Um, But... Otherwise, if we choose to Uber over there, which well, it's not far. But... And that could kind of just be a game time decision. Yeah. Like, how long did we stay at 
French Quarter for? What time is it? Kind of a thing. Find out what the boat's doing when we get there and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. And if we're at, yeah, Scat Cats and all of a sudden, like we've been there for too long, we can, we can Uber over. I'd be totally cool with that. Um, Just as long as I get some Gideons. (laughs) (laughs) So we talked about splitting food at Jack Lindsay's, right? Is what mm-hmm. our plan is because mm-hmm. we have our big dinner that night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we probably don't want to eat lunch like super late. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I'm guessing Jack Lindsay's opens at 11. Especially if we're going to be getting like other snacks, I guess. Right. Did, didn't you have some things that you wanted to get from Disney Springs, like treats? <laughs> Mine were all drinks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Hey>, oh. <laughs> Um, it's gonna be a long day <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna pace myself <laughs> there's yeah so there's like five appetizers that are on the holiday menu at jock Lindsay's, and i guess this is all like pending we are even even able to get in because it's walk up so right. hopefully that's not I, too busy because i think this also is like for the month of december so it's going to be new and it's well, it opens at 11. Yeah, it does open at 11. And it's no longer the hangar bar. It's the holiday bar. So we've got all that working against us. Um, so but if they open at 11, I think we can get in there right away. It won't be a big deal. Hmm. And like if worse comes to worse, like say, say we do split up, like you guys wait in line for Gideon's. Um, and then we could like queue up for Jock Lindsay's mm-hmm. and we could then you know have both of those things and then we just like stroll the christmas trees afterwards Mm -hmm. because that shouldn't take like too long to walk through and see all the trees and well and that brings me to the next thing because we're looking at going over to the monorail loop right so really the only place over there that's got anything that we gingerbread house anyway that we really want to see is Grand Floridian. There's a tree at Polly and there's a tree at Wilderness. So that was kind of one of the questions I was going to bring up. Do we want to worry about getting to Wilderness and Polly for tr- for the Christmas trees to see those? Well, I've always thought the atrium at um, the Wilderness with the Christmas tree is gorgeous and I'd love to see it in person. I so, thought we were going to end up at the Polly anyway because you wanted to go to Trader Sam's that night. Yeah, at the end of the night. That's why I keep you along. <laughs> and also, if you're because I'm not me... Cino. <laughs> what? If you're going to ask me what I want to see, I'm going to see. I'm going to say everything. So we would be <laughs> literally Chris, going to Kristen every has single been resort. Everything, and we we actually had a really <laughs> uh, a really fun time in that Magic Kingdom Magic Kingdom area, going over to Wilderness. Like I felt like that was a lot of fun. Um, and so I would be game doing that again. Like, I think I thought that was really cool. Just kind of including wilderness in the, the monorail loop um, and seeing all of, all of the trees. I think that would be cool. Right. And like, then if you like tack on like the gingerbread stuff, like doesn't uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge have something gingerbread or is it just a tree? I thought it was just a tree. I think they, they have a gingerbread have something. something. Yeah. They have oh, gingerbread okay. something. And then there's like, the hotel is like on the boardwalk that eventually I would like to go to, but we could break that up maybe between like our park well, days. Yeah. And I think we're planning on hitting those the morning before we leave. Cause we're going to be over that way anyway. The plan was to go to that breakfast there. We have a, a reservation at Cape May cafe right now so that we could oh, see that stuff. And we could always hit some of them like, before going back to pop like mm-hmm. on the first night or yeah any of those other nights i guess yeah we're, we're we're in that area so i think that's definitely doable i just won't be in gingerbread attire <laughs> gingerbread attire <laughs> oh <my gosh>. um <laughs> so anyways, I, so then well, i think a good idea would be when we're done at disney springs we can head over to the wilderness um yes and we can hit so then we can see that Christmas tree. We'll head, we'll take the boat, I'm thinking, across to the Contemporary. 
and we don't need to see anything there because we'll be able to see it later. But then we can grab the monorail over to the poly. Um, can you do a boat from Wilderness to the Contemporary? It just uh, opened about a month ago. Oh, well, there you go. Well, we took the boat from Magic Kingdom to the Wilderness, but I don't think we stopped at the Contemporary. Probably not it, because they just opened the new... Um, well, it's not new. It was there when we were there. Um, they did ask us if we were 2019. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe it was just everybody was on that boat was, was wilderness. So we just went to wilderness. Um, but I, I did want to mention this is that Kristen and Tammy were talking about going back to the hotel to change. Would we want yeah. to do that before we get to the monorail loop? Since, um, since what like like contemporary is where we're having dinner so it's like gingerbread outfit no yeah see yeah that defeats she needs to be in her gingerbread outfit while she's seeing the gingerbread houses oh so you're gonna you're gonna be in your outfit the whole time no i'm gonna change before we go to the contemporary for california grill oh okay so so then when do we want to do that i guess i was i was i was assuming we would change and then go to the monorail loop because we would be there. And so this, I mean, Tammy and I were talking a little bit before we um, got on the call with you, but I mean, that is something I brought up, whether we wanted to go back and change before we hit the monorail loop. But I think we've got enough time here mm-hmm. that we should go and hit the gingerbread house at Grand Floridian for sure. We don't need to stop at Polly. I said that wrong earlier. We can go wilderness boat to contemporary if we want, and then monorail over to Grand Flow, and then we can head back and change, come back, go to the contemporary, see that stuff. Wait, why are um, we going to the contemporary twice? Gingerbread be- oh, that's just, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that 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 makes more sense. Where it's like, I, my only thought was like, oh, why would we leave the monorail loop to change and then come back? But if 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 we're doing it, just like we'll leave them, we'll do the things that we want to do that we're not going to hit after dinner or something like that. Um, so that I guess that makes sense. Yeah. We're doing it because of fashion. Because yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to walk around in heels that whole time and Kristen has a gingerbread outfit. Yes. It's fashion. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> so then I gave Brian the notebook because you guys are talking about modes of transportation and how to get from one place to the other. And I don't really care. I just want to buy things and eat things and drink things. So I love that energy. Right? <laughs> That's why you have me. You Otherwise, know, you'd just be going in circles. I do have to say that I do think it's funny how, like, they keep saying that we, like, do Disney relaxing. Because we do. But we've never been for Christmas. And we only have, like, three days. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we're like, okay, let's go. Like, what all can we see? And it's funny because we have the more more days. And so we may be like, okay, chill. We got, like, four more days to go. <laughs> It's fine. Um, okay, I might have to research if we're not going to make the stop at the poly or I'm going to put my plug in for two stops at the poly before and after because there was a little um, Dole Whip float that I wanted to get at the Pineapple Lanai. And I don't know how late that would be open until. Well, and th- this is another thing that, that I don't know if we've if we've – talked about this yet but like getting to the monorail loop what what time do you guys think we'd be there so it's like if we if we do hangar bar at at 11 um hang out there i mean if we hung out there for an hour that would be cool but like then we have like noon to one could be um random disney springs things and then and uh christmas tree trail and then, like, from 1 o'clock, we just kind of make our way over to the monorail. Then we, ha- we have a ton of time to roam around that area. Is the one hour there going to be enough for Kristen to get all the snacks she has listed for there, though? I just want a Dole Whip at the Pineapple 
Wait, no, where? at Disney Springs. Oh, I thought Disney you Springs? had like, yeah. Oh, um, I just want to get the hot cocoa from the okay. Ganache. Mm-hmm. Tree. Okay. We we could get that and then and then walk around the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then I mean, I yeah, like then then you get that, I'll get my mistletoe whatever it is at mm-hmm. that other place. <laughs> e- <laughs> Strik- well, and- Strikers, I think it was at. Because that's e- where your old fashioned is too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm kind of excited about that. Strikers? Strike. Or are, you, are you talking about Splitsville? Splitsville. 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 Yes. Is Strikers another bo- bowling place? I don't know. <laughs> Must be. Okay, so Splitsville's <laughs> on one end and Ganashery is on the other. So, but the Ganashery is right outside of Jack Lindsay's, I believe. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so that could be my end of lunch. Yeah. yeah. Dessert. And if <laughs> if I have to live without my mistletoe drink, I suppose I'll be all fine. I'm not living all, without my old fashioned. So, <laughs> but I mean the. The trees are all over Disney Springs, That's so true. we're going to yeah. end up down. I mean, we're not going to have. I don't know. We might have to go all the way down to Cirque du Soleil. You never know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. um, I mean, that's that's down that direction, so we'll get there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I mean, even if it takes longer than like one o'clock, and we're still at Disney Springs, it's fine because I think we do have a a ton of time. Um, to do all this other stuff the the reservations around seven it, i made this the reservations around seven right i feel like it's seven ten seven thirty okay oh, pretty yeah. sure i thought it was seven thirty oh, let me check. wow we're do, really bad at times do you guys think there's going to be a long line for getting in the gingerbread house at the grand floridian because i kind of want to get inside of, inside of it yes you can go inside of it that's no you can to me Yes, you can. No, you can't. I yes, thought people can. sell stuff. No, out cast of it. members are inside of it selling the stuff oh, out, okay. out of it. Well, um, whatever. Seven thirty. Somebody's inside of it. I'm not going to say that we are I not inside. Told of you, it. but I was right. At seven thirty. How <laughs> could we get inside of the gingerbread house? We don't. Um, we, we might get kicked out. <laughs> they have to pay us to go inside there. We would have to be a cast member, I guess. I know a cast member. <laughs> um, As, do you guys have any other like ideas for the resorts other than like go walking through them, looking at the Christmas stuff, saying "ooh ah," and then getting on transportation to the next one? Because I know you had allotted like an hour's time for each resort. Oh, that was just a rough outline, okay. and Kristen's referring to an outline that I had sent out to everybody that was like every hour had a thing, but there was nothing in between that. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, once I get to the monorail loop, I don't know that we're going to need an hour at each spot. I right. mean, we, we could look at if there's like a drink or a snack that we really want or something, but I don't know that there is. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. Uh, well, back think... to the pineapple and nye thing though. They close at 10 p.m., and I would think that we're done at California Grill by 9.30. Okay, that would be, okay. it's probably going to be pushing it. <laughs> um. Well, each gingerbread display, like, has, like, a little, like, treat. Because I, I had seen that at the Contemporary, like, they have, like, five, like, little treats that they're selling, like, along with, like, just getting a brick of gingerbread. That's I haven't right. looked at what grand floridian has for theirs but um they just have like cute little decorated cookies i also could just take a lot of time walking i mean we typically try to hit like all of the random um stores at um grand floridian that's always like just going into that basin um so it's like just walking around each resort anyways um, like, I mean, I'd, I'd be cool with, I don't, I mean, I can't think of anything specific other than like possibly also getting drinks somewhere else, um, at, at like a bar there. I can't think of any other bars other than like the ones that, um, uh, Polynesian, <laughs> but I'm sure there are some, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm cool with just like exploring and doing stuff like that. I'm always, I'm always down for that. <laughs> Well, in that outline that I had sent, I had us leaving the monorail area at four o'clock. Mm-hmm. And this is all 
I mean, most everything has been based on using Disney transportation. So Mm -hmm. like when it's time to leave the monorail area and go back to pop, it's going to be an hour that they always say, you know, put an hour in there because, you know, if we're at Grand Flow and we decide to leave, we're going to have to get to a transfer station to get over to um, Pop Century, right? We can't just hop on a bus over to Correct. Well, I mean, we we can... Yeah, well, that's the thing is that we we would get on the monorail and it would have it take us to Magic Kingdom, and then we would just hop on a bus from Magic Kingdom to Pop. Right, but there's a lot of waiting in there too. To exactly. Make, yeah, yeah. You know. Anyway. Be really nice. So what if I you was had planning. A car. A, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if it was four o'clock, you know, that's why I put in four o'clock because mm-hmm. four o'clock, an hour back to our place, an hour to get ready an hour back to the contemporary, right? Unless yeah. we want to pay for another Uber. Or, fun eh. thought, I've never used minivan. Yeah, and I, one that of the sounds people, expensive. one of the cast members I know uh, drives minivans. And he's, he's said before, like, there's there's no way of, like, um, knowing that you'll get him. But he's said before that that if he picks us up, that he'd comp it. <laughs> So if somehow we could make that happen, uh, that would be cool. But I also have never ridden minivans before. I think it would be fun to do it once if we could, if we want to. And if we're splitting it up between two couples. I guess I would prioritize the minivan ride then from pop to California Grail because we're going to be in our fancy era. Do it in style. Fancy era. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in my fancy era. (laughs) Does that mean that I'm going to like put on a Chiefs jersey for California (laughs) Grail? I wouldn't be mad. (laughs) I would. (laughs) Brian just throws on his Jordan Love jersey. The day before the Packers play the Chiefs too. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Taylor won't be there. Um. So yeah. Um. I think that's a that's a good idea, and I'd be yeah. I think, pl- like, let's just plan on minivan then. Um, and then that I think that would also give you guys more time to get ready, so that we don't have to, a lot that full hour, um, getting back. Plus, I mean, I'd also, I'd also be fine with just chilling at the resort too. I mean, that's basically what Brian and I are going to do. We're going to throw on a shirt and be done. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So, you guys maybe, ready yet, Brian? <laughs> you, maybe, oh, no. maybe you and I can peruse things. We can, we can go run over to Art of Animation uh, and hang out there for a little bit. How long no, do you think you know, we're going to need? At least an hour. Tammy, you think so? No. I mean, like, if we're if I'm already getting ready in the morning, like, I'm just gonna change my outfit, probably. <laughs> they say this She's now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna show probably. up in gingerbread outfits, aren't we? Maybe. I mean, my hardest decision is deciding which of the five dresses I've bought for that <laughs> night I'm going to wear. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to pack. Maybe it will take an hour because I might have to pack them all and do a fashion show for you, Kristen, so you can like tell me which one I need to wear. This sounds and like you, it's going to take an you hour. You are wearing <laughs> ears. Are you going to wear ears to California Girl? I am going to wear ears to California okay, Girl. Wearing? I think so. I'm going to think I'm going to wear those Santa Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you buy those yet? I, they were from last year, yeah. Oh. At least I think I'm going to wear ears because I hinted very loudly about the ears I wanted to wear that night. And there's a Shop Disney withdrawal from our account. So I'm hoping that <laughs> the ears are coming. It was more of a mine. go order this stuff. I want it. Not... Yeah, I did kind of say <laughs> yeah. that. I was like, I want this, this, and this. Well, it was nice because Shop Disney was having a Black Friday sale over the weekend, Mm. and I was able to put my D23 discount on top of it. Mm -hmm. I'm currently in an email chain with them because I had bought some things before the Black Friday sale, and then after the Black Friday sale, it was like a difference of like some money. 
So I'm <laughs> hoping that they'll um, credit me back some money. So to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I mean, we can we can let that time be that time anyways. And then if we get done early, then we're done early and we can kind of decide like, do we want to just chill here? Do we want to go somewhere before California grow? Um, But I think just having that time is probably a good idea. Just in case Tammy needs to try on all five dresses, 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 right? (laughs) Oh, five dresses. (laughs) I think it, I think it's good too. And you know, if we get, too bored, Mikhailo. We could always record a podcast. Hmm. That's true. Yeah this this interface that I bought actually you can record on an iPad. So you're not packing this, <laughs> but there's no room. Pod, but podcast. <laughs> Brian can pack his. <laughs> <laughs> They're there for less days. <laughs> I'll just bring those little mics we used at Disneyland. Yeah, we'll use that. Yeah, cool. Well, uh, I mean that sounds like a plan, and then taking the minivan over to. I can't believe you think we're going to take an hour. Watch you guys take over an hour. (laughs) This is not me going, oh, my God, they're going to take an hour. This is me saying, let's give them an hour. Exactly. Exactly. Let's give them an hour. I'm almost hoping they take an hour so you you and me, Brian, can go um, run amok (laughs) around Art of Animation. Amok, amok, amok. But, yeah, so... um, you guys get ready. We we take the minivan over, um, California, grill it up. Uh, I think that's that's going to be wonderful. Um, and then after that, we're trying to get um, Trader Sam's um, reservations. That's that's what we're doing. Yes. So okay. I'm thinking if we when we get over there, it's going to be at least an hour wait. Yeah. And probably. when they when they call your name, you have 15 minutes to return. So we're not going to want to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm um, I'm cool with chilling in po- at yeah. the Polynesian. That's I will great. sit right. there forever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> grab a grab a lapu lapu and my god! Oh gosh! When <laughs> when he can't when he can't get up for the next morning for Epcot, we all know why. Well, at least if we go there, like this time around, we will have had a meal Food in our stomachs, so that we're not like <laughs> <laughs> spending. Yo. Three thousand dollars on DVC. We we were we were oh my god, it was so funny because we had like a drink and a half, and we were we were walking around the poly like this place is awesome. We need to stay here. I almost booked the poly, you guys. I almost booked it. <laughs> I am yeah, very that's... excited to stay there. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm I'm totally cool with that. With just like chilling there. And um, waiting for a reservation. Um, so yeah, that's that's a great plan. <laughs> I think so too. And then we can drink, and then we'll get back to the hotel again. It'll be late. And we'll order. And a pizza. I will sleep terrible. We'll get a we'll get a whole pizza. <laughs> Are they have snacks inside of Trader Sam's though too? If if we need that, Ooh. so we won't have to order a pizza. Dude, I love those like late night pizzas he does i do i've done i've ordered one before and eaten it myself you've ordered multiple pizzas <laughs> <laughs> yes. but yeah i think that's i mean i think we have a good a good hold on what we want to do that day um and kind of like what the um the layout is going to look like you're so worried about upsetting us there's no upsetting us. It's we, Disney. I this is don't... Disney. It's all just <laughs> Disney. You gotta get your walking shoes on. You got your hokas? Yeah. Did you guys buy your hokas yet? <laughs> no, I I did look at them, but they're so expensive. <laughs> yeah. Kylo's and I'm hokas. I'm wearing three year old sandals. I always get the Disney rash, so I'm just expecting I'll get it. We we were kind of we were talking about that, and I think. Hopefully, it won't be so hot that like your your skin gets bothered. And um, I think we'll we'll have like a lot of like yes, we're gonna be like go go go, but like we'll have breaks. Like we'll be on a bus, and then we'll be eating lunch, and then we'll be sitting somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm also cool with like if we get to the wilderness, and we want to go sit by that 
fire mm. and like just chill like that sounds wonderful to me <laughs> well i'm also hoping to that like i i've been averaging anywhere from like 11 to thirteen thousand steps a day now with both of my Jeez, jobs yeah. so hopefully that'll help too mm-hmm. it's so funny because like our last trip we were only supposed to be there for what four days mm-hmm. so and we were staying at a cheap motel so i didn't pack a swimsuit and like this trip we're staying for a week so i thought about packing my swimsuit but i honestly don't think we are gonna get into we, a pool we don't really have a day the only time is is when we're waiting for them to show up that I, I think, think maybe we're we going go to, to magic pool. kingdom already well it's funny morning. It, that turned into oh maybe we go to magic kingdom and grab breakfast and go back to the to the hotel and now it's like oh maybe we do this we ride these two rides we get this snack we get this other snack and it's turned into an entire morning at magic kingdom before you guys show up that's not a bad thing i don't think so i just want to i just i like pools though too i know yeah but what if it's what if it's not warm enough for a pool Maybe then we go in the pool anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you need to have the reservation for Magic Kingdom to get in? So we've been talking about the Christmas party. Mm-hmm. Obviously, on our ticket, we're going to have to go in with all the common folk. But mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. annual pass holders will be able to waltz in all nonchalant, like early and do your thing in Tomorrowland. Um mm-hmm. Uh, which, if you don't know, you can get your ornament back in Tomorrowland when you check in. Um, but anyway, uh, don't you need to have a reservation to be able to do that? If you Wait. if you're going in before two, yeah, and I made us one for that day yeah. just in case because we could make five at a time. So, well, okay. So then, I was just gonna say, if you guys decide to do a pool that day and not go to Magic Kingdom, then you're still able to get in early because you'll have yeah. the reservation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you guys after you check in should come back towards us though because they have the toy soldiers and stuff well, over yeah, there so that we you were, we, we were actually ta- now we've migrated into the um the christmas party, christmas party. yeah we have yeah. <laughs> we well, wanted to do that for halloween like we tapped in at the turnstiles and then we were like okay we're gonna walk under the train station to the right and they were like, oh, no, no, like, this is for party guests only. We we're like, well, yeah, we are. But, like, I want to go that way. And they were like, no, 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 go the other way. Yeah. So we went around. And then I think by, like, the confectionery, we probably could have taken that right down that alleyway. But we didn't. So we didn't even walk down there for Halloween. And now in, like, uh, like vlogs and live streams, I've seen that they have it roped off. So I think we'd have to go through the park to the left and then come around but mm-hmm. they'll allow you to like walk through and experience all those like so, photo ops and, and we were talking about like if you guys actually like get there super early to like wait to get to the parks like like, like we're like one of the first people up front um then maybe we just like go with you guys and just like walk through um that area but if it's not sweet we, we'll probably just say peace out and <laughs> get into the park yeah, already. it depends too because like we could always like get in like for the halloween party as soon as we got in um at the emporium they have the merch already out so like Mm -hmm. we could snag all the merch like over facetime and then like just go when you guys get in Mm -hmm. or we could be those people and like save a spot in line and be like you guys could be like oh my family's up there my family's up there i gotta get (laughs) through all 500 of you yeah (laughs) Well, so, I mean, that's my hope is that we don't have any travel travel problems and we can get in line by three o'clock mm-hmm. uh, for the party because that's what I've been reading is that if you're there at three o'clock, you're up near the front of the line. Mm-hmm. So you get right in really quick. I mean, I'm just planning on needing to change clothes, which I can do super fast. So, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that's something that we also have to take into account that we can't get carried away like with a morning Mm -hmm. at magic kingdom that we, cause I'll have to like change Mm -hmm. and be ready for the party. Yeah. Also so that we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Anyways, um, this, this may also be another 
podcast that we we just talk through <laughs> what we want to do for the party uh because i think i think this um went very well i was very happy with with what we had decided on um so i, th- I think it went well yeah and i don't think it would hurt to have a night like this for the party and for upcott yeah so we're kind of all on the same page and- i've been so worried about the party and learning what I could about the party once everything would come out from the bloggers. Um, and now that that information is out, I've started thinking about Saturday a little bit now. So now that we've got Saturday ironed out, I kind of, we kind of have a plan for Chris for the Christmas party. Like now I feel like I can start thinking about Epcot. Like I haven't even thought about how to handle Epcot. So that could be, wait, 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 wait. Are you guys going to ride Guardians? Yeah. We want to. Why wouldn't we ride Guardians? I don't know because I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to get on Gar- Guardians and Rummies, but I don't know. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd for sure like to get on Guardians. And then a 915 Garden Grill breakfast throws a wrench in all of that. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. <clears throat> well... We could play dumb. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) We can't play dumb and record it at the same time. Well, the only thing is that is that we'd be playing dumb at dinner and I wouldn't want to not show up to the breakfast and have them be like, Oh, sorry, you didn't show up to the breakfast, so you don't get your candlelight seats. Well, that's what I would worry about too, because Yeah. I really don't want to have to wait in line for an hour for I know. for that. There's so much we want to do. <laughs> we talked about doing both. Is that the plan right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not oh. doing both. Boo. There's too much we want to eat within the festival mm. ki- kitchens. What if we did both? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are welcome. Ah, to we're do going both. to Garden Grill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll still be garden. I guess, you know what? I'm fine with that. Well, okay. Uh, I'm fine with that because we are going to Liberty Tree Tavern and it's kind of the same meal. Um, Not entirely, but... But um, maybe we'll get lucky and like the day before we could modify it or like the first day that we get there, we'll just go to the guest experience again and just be like, is there any way? <laughs> yeah. That you guys could like group this together. Yeah. I mean, it it makes sense to me. It just didn't make sense to the to the Disney people when we first went and talked to them. So, so this was a great time. Uh, We we definitely got things hammered out. We want to know what you guys thought, though. Do you like this format? Do you want us to do more where it's all four of us talking and we uh, plan things out like this? Let us know. We're out on Instagram at Miles from Main Street and. We are on Facebook as at Miles Miles from Main Street. Or you can reach us on our website, www.milesfromainst.com. But like we always say, some live close, but others don't. So let's talk about it. We'll see you next time on Miles from Main Street. <laughs> <laughs>